at six o'clock, I think. Got my phone there. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Pledge and the Commission of Davis of World Prayer. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for all the many blessings you've given us. We thank you, dear Lord, for this city that we have. We thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed on us. We thank you, dear Lord, for the many wonderful people that have gone over and fought overseas for the rights that we have in our freedom here on in the United States. We ask you to be with us in this meeting. Lead us, open our hearts and minds, so we may do what's best for our city. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everybody can come out. It's the nasty old guy. Okay. First item. Approval minutes from our last meeting. Make the motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Further discussion? Those in favor signify by. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Everybody got the packets. Pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, sing about that. Uh, uh, same. And motion passed. <coughs> First item under old business is the fire dues and billing for the old Mine City Road residents. Is that somewhere in Butler County? Yep. Yes. Well, I'm there. I don't want that. It's a long way from Beaver Dam, Kentucky. Hmm. Well, you do you know the details of what those, what's going on? Um, we have brought it up last month because we, Beaver Down had responded. I sent him a bill for 500 and he's paid half of that bill. Plus, he wanted it to go ahead and pay fire bills, even though I don't bill him, but he wants to keep from getting any other future bills that they ever respond again. They've had two fires out there in the last 12 months. Well, my understanding is uh, Butler County has been collecting those fire dues, and my understanding is from January 1, they're going to start turning those over to the city of Beaver Down. Or the ones in that area. Yeah. Uh, so then they would be dues paying members, basically. And I'm assuming they send me the ones that are paying that way. I know who's paid and who's not. Yeah, but those are on there. their. I think those are on their property tax bills, so they probably have them all pretty much. Because I don't have any idea who's out there. Yeah, well, so. and they would have to give us something. But I think the details have been worked out on that, and maybe even have the first stuff by the end of the year. So I'm still holding Mr. Rose. So we're, we're basically going to go ahead and deposit the first payment of 250 and he's going to pay the other 250 Well, I don't think we can because he's technically paid his dues. Paid his dues. And that, I think that's what we decided at the last meeting, okay, we'll do this. that we couldn't. The man in Butler County, he pays Butler County fire dues, but we had to respond because he lives on this side of the river. So right. since he's paying his dues, we can't actually bill him for it, can we? He didn't Correct. pay his dues to us, though, did he? Yeah, we did pay our dues Man, to us. We found that to me. Okay, yeah. he lives in Butler County. Okay. Okay. He, lived, he lives down here in Butler County. But we, he lived, we discussed this in the last yeah, meeting. And then he, he, he lived down here in Butler County. Here's all I can lie. But the Beaver Dam is the closest responder to do it. So we went and put out the fire. Right. We can't charge him for doing that because he paid his due, he did pay his bill of dues, right? He lives across the line, doesn't he? But yeah, he, he lives in Butler County. Respond, uh, district. <laughs> response area. No, he can't do it. But should we be getting the money for the dues? Well, that's we are. That's we are getting getting money. Starting January. Start. Starting January. Well, by the end of the year, I don't know. If they, I don't know how if they're going to pay us like by the end of the year for yeah. the ones they collected in October, November, from you know when they had the base launch of property was last January one. I was hoping someone from the fire department would be here to clarify that, but my understanding is they talked to Butler County and it has been approved through Butler County that they're going to reimburse the city That's for fire dues collected in that area. That's what they do at the Cromwell now. For, they've been doing that for some time. I don't how, know why they, how much would the bill be? Do we know? Fire dues? No, what it's bill for the bill for the bill for the bill for the bill for so should we refund that fit to a fifty? If he's paying, if I if I understand, if he's actually paying us for the service, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. He gives two hundred fifty dollars, which was half of the bill. I know, but well, that's where the technicality. He's paying Butler County, and we haven't been re even though he is in our 
district. So, so we've not actually received anything. No. As far as fire dues goes, no. no I, if he's paying Butler County and we made the run, you keep the two hundred and fifty dollars. Then we start getting it back from Butler. What they collect then it'd be just like citizens. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, my assumption is that when you start getting paid now by Butler County, it's it's a future thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it did. And, this and it'd be just like on, anybody else that pays people in fire dues. Correct. This run was on August the 13th, so if they, if Butler County sends a check to us for like September, what would it be, October, November, December, then would we still collect the 500 plus receive the dues? Well, well the dues is for the year, or would they? We have received them. Yes. Exactly. August 13th. It'd be for the next year. And we responded to the, the fire in August. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a $500 bill, but assuming, assuming that we start being compensated by Butler County for September, is what I understood you to say, September, October. Actually, it'll probably be for 2019, because it'll come in sometime. So then he would pay the 500 this year, and then we'll he, 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 he would go in, He would go ahead and pay the bill if he has another fire out there after we're, being, after we're receiving the uh, payment then he doesn't get a bill. Yep. So he actually owes us another two fifty at five stamps or something. Mm -hmm. Did he say when he was gonna pay that up? He said it'd be the first of the month. So what about the thirty dollars just to apply that towards the five hundred? Because he gave me thirty dollars to pay Beaver Down fire dues to keep from getting any future charges. Well then yeah. we can't apply that just uh, apply that to the, yeah, the other two fifty yeah. and just let him know that we this should all be taken care of. Item number two, I want to put down, Andy, if you're okay with it, item number two, I want to put down at the bottom so we can go into a closed session to discuss that. Uh, next item is approve the second reading on the ordinance closing the alley between second and third. The description, the description is now the issue. I've met with Scott about it. And um, uh, I think I think we have an agreement. We also have now officially got an agreement on the other alley as well. Um, he hasn't signed it yet. Scott hasn't signed it. There's something wrong. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think he said it's my own little thing. <laughs> I have to change it. I just need to well, approve our second right reading. Now. Okay. Now move to approve the second reading of the ordinance. Second. We have a motion and second any further discussion. Those in favor. Those in favor say by the aye. Aye. Opposed saying the motion passes. Next is the aqua line contract. Two cups of details. Well, we actually talked about it a minute ago. I have my copy here if you all want to see it. Why not? I sent it to A B on my last week. I've got it. I've got it. I read it. What's the question about it? It's they're refusing to pay the sewer part of it. Now we haven't signed the new contract. They said apparently sent a new contract. Mm -hmm. We have not verified it or anything. Which one we're looking at? You're looking at the new one that was sent, and it was discussed in March at the meeting. No, but the, the, they're paying part of the sewer bill in the Bama League like that was part of the reason we went with them to start with. Because the water part of it's not as as much as the sewer part. Well. Uh, they, they agreed to do it to start with, and now they're wanting out of it. So well, right. And they told us when they were here in March they wanted to change to not do that. And they were supposed to send us a new agreement updated, and I assume that's what that is, and we were going to look at it and forward it. And get it but I don't think we ever with it. agreed to no, do we, it. No, we not. They were just going to send us their yeah. proposal. And they're already refusing to pay the sewer on somebody's leak. Yeah, I've got a claim now that they're refusing sewer payment on. And we have a contract with them. Yeah. They're already going by the new contract. <laughs> they can't do it. Yeah, I kind of advised them that wasn't agreed on yet, but you know, it's, I don't know. And it's not setting a good precedence for going back in the contract. Can't, if if, if they're, they're not going to ab abide by the contract, we need to think about dropping them and get somebody else. If there's anybody else who does that, man, drop them. No, there, is, there is somebody else who does it. There is somebody who talked to us at KLC. Okay, <laughs> well, might be an idea to look at that route. Mm -hmm. What was the term of the original contract? I thought it was five years. Was it not? I don't remember. I don't remember. I believe it's this side. I don't think there was a stipulation, a continuation of the contract. 
and then like I said, it's been what three, four years since we well, put it in now, and now they're wanting to change it on us. Well, I mean, the agreement is terminable by either party upon written notice to the other party for no less than 30 days. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that we advise them that if we want to keep the sewer thing in it, and if that's not acceptable, then we'll shop around, around or y'all can shop around or whatever. It would be a good idea to see our options on somebody else that's not their service they can provide. Evidently it's a money making issue because the city might do the same as them and contract to Kevin Likens. You know, the insurance stays with the city. It's Kevin do it. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin does all he, the maintenance. He's usually the one that does the, the fixing of the lines. Really? Yeah. Probably what ninety five percent of the time. Of it. All the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's their he's the their go to guy. Yeah. And we might, on top of that, we might be able to drop the price just a little bit. But would we have to be insured because that's getting into a different part of part of. That's a question for me. Would we have to be insured on something like that if we're going we're going on private property? We wouldn't be doing work. We would no. still. That's true, Kevin. Whatever you do relative to the original agreement, this is the subsequent, if I understand. This and is it, the new agreement. Correct. Okay. And it has not been approved. That's right, not, right. Whatever, not. whatever you, if there is an issue that they're not complying with, don't do anything verbally, put it in writing as to, as to what the disagreement is, which then puts you in position to terminate it under the, under the provision of the contract if you choose to do so. And that would that start our thirty days when we sent them that letter? No, not unless you're going no, to no, cost you. No, it had to be a termination letter for thirty days. Right. Mm -hmm. Not unless you're going to notify them it's actual termination. If I understand there's a disagreement as to what they are uh, refusing to pay. Correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, you put them on notice that as far as the city's concerned, this has got to be included. If they don't respond, or if they unfavorably respond, if it's next meeting, you determine that if you want to, send them notice to terminate the contract. I'll prepare it and make them sign it. I think that's a good way In the meantime, I'll get that information to you, Larry, and that other update. You at least call and see what their prices are doing. And should he also talk to Kevin? Maybe it's something that's the city wants to Well, do. I know, but I, that's something you can go ahead and get some information from them. They, I think we'd want that information from them before we even sign anything. Just see what they're charging them. So it's, it's, we need a motion that we table the new contract or whatever till this is worked out, or we we'll probably need to have a motion to have a AV draft out letter of uh, okay. they abide by the original term, but we're not under the contract. Right. Yet. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. New business. First items. Phelps Avenue. Yeah, the. Uh, excuse me for just a second. Did I notice this was on our original agenda? It was under new business. Never mind. Continue, please. Phelps <laughs> Avenue. The, the very end of Phelps <laughs> Avenue, uh, that lot has been sold to a, uh, I think the name's of Bailey. And they're wanting to go in there and build a garage house. I'm not sure what. And the realtor actually came down here before it was sold and, and asked if the city was going to to develop the road and take it to their property. And I, I went through this field that that subdivision went through a lawsuit years ago. The city was cleared. We didn't have to do anything. No, we're not liable. The subdivisor provider would have to. And she made a notation on, on the, I guess, the deed prep work. And anyway, went ahead and sold. Well now the, the guy that bought it is wanting to know if the city is going to put gravel down for him to get from the end of the blacktop of Shelterinos to his property. And I said, to my knowledge, word that's not on the list to develop, you know, that goes, you know, there was supposed to be a notation when you bought that, that, you know, we're not going to do the work to a period. And I said, I would bring it to the next city commission and we're going to see what the, uh, a Bailey, J. Bailey, J. D. Bailey. <coughs> Is that right, Bailey? No, I don't know. I've got one gentleman that's always. Well, who's the people up here at the car lot with this car lot next to Deidre's? What's her last name? Oh, James. James. James, James what? 
Is the last name's James. Oh. Jay, is it Jay Dillon? Jay Dillon. 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 That one, like I say, should have been done, and it was all cleared through the court system at the time that it was developed. I think the previous owner kind of put a stop to a little bit. They, uh, they left on several bills on the water and sewer extension as well. What do you want to develop out there? What do you want to do? I don't know if it's... Uh, I think they said they was going to build a garage or a pole barn or something. I, I don't know. They was going to get the process started this winter and, and wanted to get rock down there, you know, extended to their property. How far past that? We don't have to see boundary. How far? You don't know what city boundary is? Well, well it's, all, it's all city limits. Excuse me. The, it, it's, it's all in city limits, but I don't know. I don't know where the right of way of the road is where it starts and stops. I didn't know how far it did it path there. I don't know. Well, the way there. Road turns up. Like here's the road, and the dead ends right here. The city limit lines back here. Several feet behind it. Well, there's houses. Paul Decker was right here. Yeah, North Paul. Was so it's at the end of that street right Paul's there. House, so it'd be over here. Well, no. You'd be coming up, and you turn right, yeah. like going to Paul's driveway, and that street goes up here in dead ends. And Jay Dillon's on up here, and they're wanting to extend this drive out. The road and you don't have for the city limits. Well, but the city limits are, well, it, it goes back in and up because it gets out of Okay, I've got about that. Are they going to build a house there? Maybe eventually build a pole barn and live in that too? I have no idea. Well, but it's always been the subcon uh, the contractor that built the subdivision. It's always been their responsibility to build the road back in there. It's mm -hmm. not been ours. So I don't think I don't think we have a right to go in there and build the road in there. No I like Jay Dillon. He's well, a good kid. We had all these problems with oh, I suppose but I mean, it was before my know. time, but we had all these problems when all that was developed and those roads built. Yep. Yeah. We went through some time with that, didn't we, Keith? Mm -hmm. And I Everybody thought he was sued personally over all yeah. And we pretty much told them the same thing at the time, but we're not going to touch those trees. Yeah. Uh, new people moving in, they don't have a memory of that. And that's something I think since you're the one that bought the property, you were to know how the roads got in there. That's your responsibility, not ours. Mm -hmm. Road needs to be completed and finished and brought and up then, to whatever our standards are and, and then we'll maintain it. Yeah, that's what we do yeah. with most of the stuff. Technically, it's supposed to be dedicated. Mm -hmm. It's actually supposed to, it's supposed to be a formal dedication yep. of the street and accepted by the city. Simply, simply because somebody builds a road on their property if it's continuously used by the public, it can become a public road if it's used long enough. However, for it to be a city street, and the cities are responsible for it, it either has to be deeded to the city or dedicated to the city. In, in either case, the city has to accept it, formally accept it. Uh, we're talking about new subdivisions or new properties. What the city's been maintaining all these years are clearly city streets. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about a, 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 a street or a road on somebody else's property, that even if they're subdividing on it, yeah. city technically is supposed to be dedicated and city is supposed to Who's be the, Who owns the property that that road's on? Who owns the property on that, on that Phelps Avenue? Mm -hmm. Well, you got uh, No, who owns, owns the property that the, oh, I don't know. the road? Is it deeded to the city? I don't think either. Uh, evidently not because if they would you was cleared individually and the city was cleared as well. Yeah, I, apart from the black road. But, but after black that black time, black. when the roads were built and put in, was it turned over to the city then? I don't uh, think I don't know. Fiscal, fiscal court paid for everything. Hmm. Who did? Fiscal court. Not city street, then. Yeah, it's city limits. Who was the uh, judge executive before? I'm saying that. Dr. Cooper. King County Attorney. David Jones. No, David was after the plane. Was that the last one? Oh, that's right. That's right. I think they paid for the black topping just to kind of settle the dust or whatever. Well, I, know, I, know, I know Cooper and uh, the county attorney was big on it. Got it done. Well, county attorney. 
time and live yeah. back there. <laughs> so he's building a house back there. Yeah. <laughs> I would say it's not a city street until it's up and, like I say, it meets our standards. And once it meets our standards, then if someone, whoever wants to dedicate it to us, we might consider taking it in. So none of Phelps, the city? I think everything is flat top. Up to he is, yeah. But I don't know that because that was before I was on the commission, so I'm not sure. Okay, because I was thinking you said who owns that street. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, from, well, I mean, there. Gotcha. <coughs> there I didn't know if it was dedicated just what flat top or more. There gotcha. was a pretty good period of time in which actually they would bring in a uh, plat of a subdivision. In other words, you had all the lots laid out, all the streets laid out. It was clear what the width of the streets were, what the requirements on the streets were, and the idea is that, that they present they they, they uh, present the plat. The city looks at it and actually enters into an agreement with it. I think we I know I think I know we've had written agreements. Yeah, I did and, it in '92 and '97. Right. So. You have written agreements as to when you comply with this, it will become part of the city system until you do. City does not have to accept it. And that's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's, why that's what we've always done. done. That's what we've always done. See, this subdivision was actually built and the streets all laid out back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. That would be before. Yeah. And many of the developers are no longer here. Well, they were when all this came up. Though. I know, but now. Yeah. But the city, had, unless the city has formally accepted it in the minutes, or it's been deeded to the city, and the city accepts the deed. The city does not have a responsibility to, to take the street. I mean, if you go by that, then there's a road that goes straight through that key standing building up there that goes right up to 62. That was dedicated before I even remember. But it's on the plan, the old map of Beaverdam. Oh, there's a lot that's of them. That's a road. Like that. yeah, you've that's never been developed. Ever. You've got houses built on. Oh, yeah. Well, see, there's several back there, like where your mom and dad live. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I think there's a street going through Don Freeman's car. <laughs> really? Poor Don. Yeah. You good on that one? Yep. Keith, you have anything? No. Uh -huh. huh. See? I don't. No, I'm in good shape. I'm good too. Larry? Uh, i got a couple things in closed session. Uh, yeah, you can get the contract there. This is a contract on the property we have. A big contract. On Second Street. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I just laid this on the desk today. What did you say? Make a motion to go in closed session. You don't want to do any comments? Well, they're going to have any comments, and he's what we're going to closed session with. <laughs> I'm just trying to expedite this. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I read the one. I had the one. Charles, 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 and does that need to be two separate motions? Yeah. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second for further discussion. Those in favor say bye-bye. Uh, second. Motion passes. And I make a motion that we hire Jonathan Morrow as a part-time employee, effective October the 31st at the rate of $10 an hour. Second. We have a motion and a second for further discussion. Those in favor, signify with aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Make a motion. No. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, I make a motion that we uh, authorize the mayor. Who we authorize? Me. The mayor okay. to sign. Authorizing the, the mayor to sign the lease agreement for the yeah. building that will cross the street. Second. We have a motion and second for the discussion. Sorry. Those in favor, say about that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. 
And let it be known I am abstaining from that vote, Mary. Please. Andy's picture from the meeting of the After it is um, after it uh, is put in final form, uh, it needs to be put to the minutes and some in okay. 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 So it's clear what, what's being released. Because they're going to option it the others probably. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now, now like most of Oh, we were just going out of here. Who's <laughs> 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 